If you're going to do big things in life, it helps to find that special intersection where minimum meets maximum. A simple place where every single resident thinks big and everyone lives life to the max. been living on a cul-de-sac in Indy for nine years and we didn't know anybody on a cul-de-sac and I said I want to live where I feel connected to people. There's so many options for you to live in Culver and if you're living Culver to the max you're gonna have high quality of life. There's a spirit of warmth in Culver and of a very generous giving community. So when something happens here, we all know about it and we all want to help. This is the place I want to be. It's the place I want my children to grow up. It's the place I want to write and talk about because I want other people to have that same experience. Coming from Washington, D.C., I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I realized there's a lot going on. It's always progressing. It's always moving. I don't think that there's a day that goes by when I don't learn of sort of a new effort, whether it's with the Boys and Girls Club, whether it's with the community schools, some of our merchants in town, we're just continuing to, to grow and thrive. Come here once, because Culver's unforgettable. You come here one time, and all of a sudden it's like going to Disney World, you're in this magical land. You get here, you give it a shot, and you're hooked. And I've seen it time and time again, and people will come in and they're just like, how is this place here? Where, where did this come from? Take a look, right? You got the, got the beautiful lake back here. You're not going to find a more beautiful, pristine, clean lake. It's the second largest you know, natural lake in Indiana. Culver is the best town in America. When we moved here three years ago, and I asked my 11-year-old son what he loved about Culver, and he says the people. I just went to college orientation, and every person there that I said I was from Culver said, really, wow, we go there every summer at least once, you know, to the lake fest, we go and see the academies, and I think it's not very often you find that people know about a town with a permanent population of 1,300 people, you know what I mean? It's a very eclectic environment. We have people from all over the world, all walks of life. It's just a weird melting pot because you have people who come here from out of town that have a little bit of money, so they have a house on the south side of the lake. With multi-million dollar mansions, and then you have other areas of town where um, there are generations of farm farmers. They rub shoulders with farmers. That till the ground just outside, and then you got people coming internationally to study at the school that are rubbing shoulders even further. People from higher and lower ends, and we all mesh really well together. We're all here to service um, the community and each other. There's not a time you can come to Culver and not meet someone fascinating. It's definitely a different mix than you would find anywhere else in Indiana, I think, for a small town you know, our size. You know, we've got residents who move here who have lived in Chicago or Indianapolis before that, and also residents that have been here their whole lives. It's a different town. Culver, you can fish, you can boat, you take a walk along the lake. You know, no matter what, the uniqueness really boils down to the people. I don't think there's any other town like this, of this size, if not in the Midwest or the country. It's easy to brag about Culver. It's easy to talk about the good things we have going on here. We have this Mayberry-like town, and it's sort of like Cheers, the bar, where everyone knows your name. And it's set on a beautiful lake with this, you know, college-like campus behind us. Whether it's the educational and academic and cultural activities the town has but then at the academies we make available to everyone in the community. Indiana's and Chicago's you know best and brightest and most accomplished have come here for over a hundred years uh, to enjoy the, the lake and the, the community. So yeah I think I just don't think you'll find any other place like it. There's plenty of towns that have great lakes. There's plenty of towns that have world-renowned academies. There's plenty of towns that have lots of restaurants. How many have them all? 
all in one place. We've got, a, we're, we're a little bit of Mayberry, we're a little bit of College Town, a little bit of a Lake Town, it, it's across the board. But one of the things that I really like doing is driving through town and seeing all the license plates. And we have license plates from all over the country that drive through Culver and stop and, and visit us, and that's, that's pretty neat. You've run into people from everywhere here, all over the world, and it's one group that just seems to work together to do what's best for the area, for the community. The academy, the school system, you've got small businesses here that, you know, everyone comes together because we do have it all. So there's, a, there's that community spirit here that is, that's really the exciting part about Culver. Everybody gets along. Everybody pitches in. We just had our Lake Fest, and, and it was just, just a wonderful, successful event here. We had it here in the park, and had a lot, a lot of people show up. Everybody pitches in. All the groups help clean up, set up, take down. Everybody gets along. Getting along for a long time. A lot's been accomplished in Culver and the strategic investment plan put together by the entire community identifies marquee projects that will attract new year-round residents, grow the town in a planned way, physically connecting people, places, schools, and other nearby towns, supporting community health and well-being while celebrating Culver itself. It's about growth. It's about trying to bring new residents uh, trying to bring new visitors here and just show them what we have uh, and enhance what we do have with more more recreational opportunities and housing that people that work here can afford to live here. The bright side about high real estate values in Culver is everybody's happy that already owns. The negative is we don't have that entry level, that workforce housing and, and it certainly impacts my staff. So just to have that ability of someone to be able to live you know, reasonably in town. The schools benefit from having uh, increased headcount. There's more dollars staying within the communities. Employers, not just LK, you, everyone comes together to try to uh, bring more people into this area. The start of that to me is getting affordable housing in here and, and then it grows from there. That's going to help boost not only our population, but also the type of population or the per capita income, which is a very big deal. Sand Hill Farm will provide affordable workforce housing and attract new year-round residents along with their school-aged children. That, that project alone is a game changer for us. Another project that stands out is the Walk Bike Trail. That connects all of these communities. You get the far side south of the lake. You can, you can go around smoothly. You can see all of the different parts of the community that you might not necessarily see if you don't feel comfortable walking on the road right now. It's a real community benefit. I and mean, there's good research to show that when you do um, invest in infrastructure and make it easier for people to be more active, they are more active. It's a good, nice, clean, 10-mile walk around this lake. And we just absolutely love the idea of uh, walking, biking, hiking. The connectivity of the town, the lake, the academy, the farm, the beautiful rolling farmland that around, surrounds us with that walking, biking path is, is phenomenal. It's the epitome of quality of life in Culver to the max. You know, if you can get people running, biking, walking on this trail and kind of unifying everybody. And not just within this town, but to other communities. It's pretty powerful, it's a pretty powerful project. The Beach Lodge, uh, I work there. So I spend quite a bit of time in the building. And, um, you know, I think it'd be really cool to restore it. I mean, it's such an old building. The building was built in 1936, 1937. It definitely shows that. It shows its age. <laughs> and I think that, the, that yes, we use it in the summer for concessions and restrooms and its basic functions. We have some classes there, but a huge benefit would be for the winter. And to have the opportunity to have this gathering space, this communal space, to just hang out and, and touch base and socialize and have that camaraderie that we have in the summer, it's easy. But in, you know, in the winter, those six months, it's tough. As a history guy, the Beach Lodge, it's just one of the things I always talk about. It's a WPA project. It's got, it tells a story in and of itself, like many other places. And all of us have great memories. I mean, you know, going to the beach there and just even the smell of the water and the Beach Lodge. I mean, everything kind of resonates. The Beach Lodge would offer the opportunity to expand our programming for kids, adults, seniors. It would provide a structure that we don't have otherwise in Culver. The West Jefferson Street Gateway Project will provide sidewalks for many residents who've never had them before, improving pedestrian access to the area from neighborhoods throughout town, benefiting the new Sandhill Farm development, 
and extending all the way downtown. Increasing property values, improving safety, and prepping for potential new commercial business at the same time. The State Road 10 sidewalk project will improve access and safety along the commercial corridor, benefit residents of the new Maple Ridge Villas development, retirement and nursing homes, and a private condominium complex in the same area. And the Cavalier Park project will enhance the existing community soccer field next to the Culver Community Schools Administration Building. It's exciting to think of the partnership that the school and the town has. Making it a public recreation field with additional parking, restrooms, and other amenities as a five-acre park and gathering place for residents of all ages. It's about growth. It's about trying to bring new residents, uh, trying to bring new visitors here. The impact it's, it's going to be greater than people realize. We get things done that are huge. Just show them what we have uh, and enhance what we do have with more, more recreational opportunities and housing that people that work here can afford to live here. Figuring out how to attract families and increase your school population, figuring out how to get the millennials to stay in Culver, that's what Stellar is about. We're doing it. We're doing it regardless. You know, we would just like to do it sooner rather than later. And that's where Stellar comes in. We want them to invest in our community because we want to do this now. Because we know the impact that it'll have on our employees, on our residents. It's a big deal. to the intersection of life in Indiana. Culver to the max.